Please help us welcome to the stage co-founder of Urban Underground and Youth Justice Milwaukee, Charlotte Moore! Hello, Milwaukee! This is one of the most amazing sights that I've seen. Where are the young people? Where are the young people? Make some noise, young people! future, but our young people are right now. They are our right now. <laughs> young people have to be a part of the movement. Back in the civil rights days, those young people, they were an intricate part of the movement. And we cannot continue to do this work without showing young people that, you know what, you have a voice. You have the leadership ability. Whether they're five years old, whether they're 10 years old, whether they're 18 years old, we have to involve young people a part of the movement. I can sit in front of you all and talk, but that's not my style. I have young people with me today from Urban Underground, from Hawa, we, have, we are here to show solidarity because again, we, uh, Milwaukee may be divided by bridges, but we have to be intentional about bringing our young people together. We're not gonna be before you long. I'm going to bring up um, Jordan, which is a new young person to Urban Underground. She's gonna take a couple minutes to talk about her experience. Then I'm gonna bring up Simone. She's been with Urban Underground for a couple years. I just want you all to hear from their voice. I can't say young people are our present without having young people at the forefront. So you all, give, show them some love. Good morning, women. My name is Jordan Anderson, and I am 16 years old, and I am a member of Urban Underground. At Urban Underground, we recently discussed the juvenile justice system. It is important for our youth to be in places such as this. We need to come together. We need to get our youth to come together so they can have input on what is happening to them and what will happen to us in the future. During the meeting, along with other engaged men and women, as I personally had a few things to say. The juvenile justice system, I can say, has been framed around shutting our young African-American men and young women down. As an African-American female team, I have to work 110 times harder in schools, therefore, so I can be recognized as a woman. I personally have peers and family members that have been shut down by the juvenile system and treated unfairly as the system shuts us down. We recently talked about shutting two of the youth prisons down, whoever doesn't know that is, the Leakin Hill and Copper Lake. There have been stories about these places, about the kids being treated brutally and unfairly, but unfortunately no one has been said accountable for the actions that have happened at these places. My team at Urban Underground are trying the best to get the word out about the prisons and the actions taking place. We feel deeply about our youth and the way that they are treated, not only in the Milwaukee area, but the areas around the state and the country as well. I believe in community and I believe that I have an impactful change and it starts with the community. Yes. So help me community, help us come together as one to point out the wrongs in the juvenile system and most importantly help us make a change. Yes. Everybody know. Um, yeah, so let's get down to it. <laughs> so basically, 
Basically, at Urban, what we do is we get youth involved in every community event that's possible to fit in our schedule. We attend, we show up, we show out, and we here to get down and make a change, you know? So, a lot of times, youth aren't given the voice to speak and stand ground, even though everything around us and surround us is based off of us and our future. So, it's important to get our input because eventually we gonna be the older people and the elderly and the teenagers and the people above and the bosses around here. So you know, we gotta get to it. Thank you everybody. But um, yeah, we've been working on this in abuse council. So basically we're getting teens involved in knowing what a healthy relationship is and how to be able to be comfortable with yourself and your word and what you are capable of doing and your standards and how to do it, where to do it, and who to connect with, you know. So that's a little bit, you know. <laughs> program we've been getting activists who have been around that hasn't been getting that attention and the community awareness and what we do is we interview them we get involved we write about them we let others know we have a website as well and that's what we're here for from the mouth of babes right I want you all to know that young people are dy dynamic, they're brilliant, they're smart, they have lots of energy, they're talented, and all we have to do is bring them to the table. We have to provide a seat for them at the table. I don't want you all to be afraid of young people, particularly young people of color. Our, me our media and our society may tell you to be afraid, but I want you all to know that these young people, they need support. They need love. They need guidance. And it's up to us to be able to give them that. So we're going to leave you off with this. We're going to chant out because we always make sure that we're building community. So we leave with, leave with you the Asada Shakur chant, and I need you to repeat after me. Y'all ready? Yeah. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love each other. We must love each other. And support each other. And support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. One more time, fist up. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. Chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to 